Good evening, Team Kentucky. I uh, wanted to touch base with everyone today to let you know how our K-12 public school reporting dashboard is going in the public health arena. Uh, first of all, I wanna make sure everyone knows that our dashboard exists uh, to make sure that we provide an opportunity for our school districts and our lo local health departments uh, and our healthcare providers to work together to provide a safe return for in-person classes for every child across Kentucky, since that's our goal. Each community is able to use this information uh, as, act as, as actionable information uh, that helps keep Kentucky open for business uh, and on a path to a sustained return to in-person classes, which is what we all want. So here's an overview of how this dashboard works. Schools are asked to report the, rep the positive cases of COVID-19 every day of the week. And this data is provided to our local health departments. There, the local health departments then provide that collected information to the Kentucky Department of Public Health, where it goes through a verification process uh, to check for ac accuracy. All of this data can be found for your school, your community, and the entire Commonwealth of Kentucky at kycovid19.ky.gov. What you're looking at right now is a sample of the dashboard that uh, is, is uh, available for any school across Kentucky. Uh, so here's where we are. Here's where we stand currently in Kentucky. Uh, the dashboard that you're looking at was made public on September 29th. There are 1,732 schools in this database. And as of today, it shows that we have 798 quarantine students and 137 quarantine staff across Kentucky. 1,000 529 schools have reported data at least one day in the last two weeks. So for the overwhelming number of you who are working diligently to keep your kids safe and to provide the information that your families need, thank you. But that also means that we have over 200 schools in Kentucky that have failed to provide this vital public health information to their communities, even one day over the last two weeks. That is unacceptable and it's irresponsible. It jeopardizes the health of your students, your school staff, their families, and your community. We all want our children back in their classrooms where they can learn from their teachers and be with their friends. But by not being accountable to your community, you are actively impeding the ability for this to happen. So again, to review your school data or to find out if your child's school is one of the schools that has not reported, please visit kycovid19.ky.gov. This pandemic has taught every Kentuckian what teachers and moms like me already know, and that's that our public schools and child care centers are the lifeline of our economy. So as we work to build a better Kentucky in the middle of this global health pandemic, our education and child care communities have to be on their game more than ever. Every family needs and deserves transparency and accountability from each school district, college, university, and child care center. As our public health experts learn more about the coronavirus, Dr. Stack, Governor Bashir, and I will continue to communicate with honesty and transparency, and we're asking Team Kentucky to do the same. To my teaching colleagues, I have heard from so many of you about how tough this year has been. You never envisioned having to do all the things that you normally do, which is prepare lesson plans, ensure the safety of your students, differentiate instruction, all in a virtual setting, constant uncertainty, contending with danger, uh, dangers of a once in a century pandemic. So as we face this pandemic and work to build a better Kentucky, I want you to know that I hear you. Governor Bashir hears you. Governor Bashir and I, along with Team Kentucky, stand with you, and we thank you for rising to this challenge. We will get through this, and we will get through this together.